Good morning, everybody. It's Pete with Chill Dude Vlogs. Day two of my commitment to a daily vlog. So, yeah, I kind of woke up a little early this morning. <laughs> I was kind of thinking about, okay, how do I approach this? And uh, fortunately, I had, you know, I'd watched a couple other vlogs. Uh, you know, one another one of Cody's, and he was actually he was doing a seminar, right? He's talking about, uh, hey man, you can't. He, he was he was making the argument. It's almost easier to do a daily vlog than a weekly vlog, because then you will learn to just integrate doing a vlog into your daily life instead of like overthinking it and worrying about it and planning for it and yada yada. So with that uh, guidance, I've decided to, uh, yeah, I should just shoot, you know, kind of uh, what I'm doing vlog as opposed to, you know, editing any of the existing footage I've already shot, which I'm really excited to edit. I have just a ton of really, really cool stuff, most of which is you know, a little fragmented, so it's going to take longer to edit. Nonetheless, really cool stuff. More sailboat races, more, uh, you know, the Scotland trip, obviously, the reunion thing, and, you know, traveling across the United States with, you know, my daughter, or at least from Minnesota to Idaho, uh, you know, more, gosh, airing up, airing down, fixed to flat. I mean, it's, you know, it's just a lot of cool stuff I can't wait to do. But, um, you know, so that same, that, that same video that, uh, Cody was making, uh, you know, presentation he was giving. He was like, "You should, hey, you shouldn't, you know, you know, should do two vlogs a day, or or three vlogs a day." And you know, I was getting all pumped, and I almost like chimed in, and I'm like, "Thank gosh I didn't," because he probably would have seen that too, and I'd be out here trying to do three vlogs a day. Anyway, so <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny, but I am taking his advice uh, to heart with respect to integrating it into kind of a lifestyle thing. And so what we're doing today, Rowdy and Sophie are patiently waiting. We're doing what we always do, uh, which is get up and go for a walk with the dogs. I, you know, I'm doing my best to get decent light. I apologize for the lighting in my first daily vlog yesterday. I was, uh, you know, boy, these GoPros do not do well in low light. So I'm sitting here in the Beagle, um, and that's the name I've given to my sportsmobile. Um, if you're new to the vlog. And so we're here in the Beagle and the pups are being very patient. And the lighting is incandescent from the interior of the Beagle with everything on, which I hate to do because as you'll see probably in Saturday's vlog, I need, I have a, my secondary alternator went out. And so I'm kind of pulling off battery and I am not able to charge other than with my solar panels which normally do just fine, but we finally moved into cloudy weather and the days are shorter right here in Idaho. So anyway, I'm burning up the incandescence anyway. If I have to, I'll plug it in. Hey, so slice of life, that's what we're doing. Hey, so the, I know these look funny. These masks are, well, if you've seen some of the earlier vlogs, you know, but they are to protect the dogs from this nasty little invasive weed called cheat grass and so uh it's just about the time of year i stop making the the pups wear them they don't mind wearing them but i uh and with this rain it'll probably really help knock down the remainder of the cheat grass from you know that's been uh you know growing since springtime and then in the winter you really don't have to worry about it too much at all but it's especially for Sophie, she's so short. She's right at the height of this nasty little grass-like weed that has these long, like porcupine quill type things that get up into her nose and into her, and they can get in her, they have actually been in her nose. One time I was just, uh, I've said it before, I was just looking at her and I saw this little hair in her nose <laughs> coming out of her nose and I didn't even think anything of it. I was like, oh, that's probably itches you know, I just kind of grabbed her you know just went like that on her nose and this this piece of cheat grass that long comes out and like most of it's just like the stem but the very end of it is the porcupine quill part and it just wherever it goes into the dog the, you know right like, like on their ear inside their ear or inside their you know between the toes on their little pawpaws or really anywhere else it just 
nose is really bad. It just works its way in. It just keeps going. I mean, it's it's actually kind of gross and frightening. It actually can go right up into their brain or their sinuses. And it can kill them. Uh, you know, it'll go up their toenails, and you won't, and you'll just see this big kind of a bump, red bump infection, way up on their elbow, and it's it has gone all migrated all the way up from between the toes. Anyway, that's why Rowdy and Sophie, and yeah, I've got a. I don't know if I've cut it yet. See, I've got a vlog uh, with a vet about the cheatgrass. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's why Rowdy and Sophie. Rowdy, come here. Uh, are wearing are wearing uh, the masks. As you can see, they don't mind wearing them. In fact, they can even drink while they're wearing them. And it's just like if you put your face right up to like a screen door or something. Once your eyes are really close to it, you can see out of it just perfectly. So they don't mind wearing it. <laughs> but sometimes it kind of surprises people, so I wanted you to know. It also really surprises other dogs. So the first time, another, you know, dogs, other dogs kind of freak out when they see it. And as I've said before, the other thing that freaks out when they see it, which is kind of a good thing for these small dogs, is coyotes freak out when they see it. They're like, oh no, what's that? Run! Which is the way I like it. All right, good dogs. Let's go. Come on. I just want a rich life. If you look at the clock in my office, it's stuck at four minutes to midnight. And that reminds me to get on with living that rich life. And that includes creative, creatively, intellectually, artistically, Socially, social responsibility, responsibility to this beautiful planet, and I'll always and everything hopefully always serve the large dollop of fun. <laughs> so, hey, that's where we're headed, that's where I'm going, and I'll do my best to present it to you guys in a way that's also fun and worthy of your time. And I do appreciate your time. Check out the beavers. Did you hear that kingfisher go by? I just love the rain. We're going to be spending some time in the rain. You know, the cool thing about rain and snowstorms and anything like that is uh, it puts a lot of the, the animals in a position where they, they can't hear you, they can't see you as well. And so it's just a great time to observe animals, right? You can get a little closer, you can be un remain unobserved. Sometimes if you know what's going on with the wind, you can, you know, control it so they can't smell you. Whether that's, a, you know, trying if you're trying to get past a grizzly bear without it knowing you're around, or I had an opportunity, one time, one time in a blizzard looking for these horses I wanted to film in a snowstorm. It was the only time I've ever seen a wild mountain lion, and I saw that mountain lion before it saw me, and that's no small feat. It's only happened once. But so yeah, blizzards, rainstorms, everything, they're great. Come on guys, let's get out of here.
Whatever you can do or dream you can do, begin it because boldness has power and magic in it. This is Pete with Chill Dude Vlogs, day two of the daily vlog. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. Let me know what you're thinking. Give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching.